your emotions? Sad, happy, story. Because it brings back a lot of memories. I'm happy because the world is getting to hear the story. Truthfully, it's very important. It's very emotional because I was there and I remember all these scenes. So it makes me want to cry. The authorities don't want it to be played in Broadway. You know? Yeah. See all the Americans watching, black and white. I mean, everybody's listening, everybody's talking about it. This is what the government in Nigeria don't want people to hear. The truth is finally coming out. And it's coming out big in a big way. It's a shame on them. It has always been a shame on them. It will always be a shame on them. Corruption is a, it's a shame. What they did to my father is a shame. What they are doing to African people is a shame. What they have been exploiting is a shame. All these things are it's a big shame. It was what my father was fighting for. It was what Malcolm X, what Martin Luther King, what Kwame Nkrumah, what Bumumba died for. So many people have lost their lives on this struggle for freedom, emancipation, for independence of the African man, for good education, good roads, and all these things, good healthcare system. But people would say, Femi, you don't take the kind of risk that fella takes. Who says? Are like, you talking as a Nigerian or a fool or a naive person? No. What, what are you saying? I'm asking you a know question. Me? Oh, you're asking. I'm asking you oh, a question. Oh, you made a statement. You didn't ask a question. No. Okay, so on, in New York Times yesterday, when you I said you don't When I build this shrine is what? Huh? When I build the Africa shrine is what? When I live in Nigeria is what? Have I run away? When I present a Nigerian band in America is what? When I stand by the faith and the struggle is what? You ask the question like a Nigerian, you don't ask the question like an international person. Who has even followed my lifestyle and my, my well-being? You are here in New York asking me the question. You should come and ask me that question in Lagos. I read in New you York Times yesterday, take risk. you say you don't want to see this show unless it comes to Lagos. What yes. made you change your mind? Because Steve Handel gave me his word he's going to bring it to the shrine. And a man that brings a play like this of my father, if he gives me his word, I can hold him by his word. You see, it's not about the play as far as I was concerned. I am fighting the struggle wholeheartedly with everything, my body and my mind, not hiding in America. I'm in Lagos fighting and I've never for one second moved away from the truth of my father or the struggle of any great African man fighting for the emancipation of the black man. So when you ask for questions, please be careful of how you address those questions to me. Uh, thank you. It's not about me, I'm asking you Oh, you question. say I don't take risks. What are you saying? You ask a question like a Nigerian, you insult my integrity. What, you want me to be arrested first before you ask the question properly? You want me to be beaten like my father? You want me to be killed like my father? You hide in New York and you ask me the question. You believe your father was killed? I did say my father was killed. I said you want me to be killed. Do you want me to be killed before you know I'm fighting? No. But... Has any of my songs that I've written diverted from the truth of what my father stood for? Have I not mentioned the leaders that are corrupt in my albums? I stay at the shrine. I built the shrine. Have you seen the shrine? Have you been to the shrine before? Absolutely. You have? Isn't, yes. isn't, it, isn't it impressive? Despite all the odds I have come across, I built the shrine and I stand. I stay there. When is your next album coming out? Hopefully before the end of the year. You say I don't take risks. Apologize. Then I'll answer your next question. How can you accuse me of not taking risks? Talking to you on the camera, you say I don't take risk. You want me to be beaten and jailed like my father before you know I'm taking risk? Nigerians have to see this play. Africans have to see this play. It's very emotional. I've been crying. It says it's, it's taking me way back. It's taking me to the 70s. The first time my father was arrested, to the burning of the house, to when my grandmother died, to the beatings my father had, seeing blood all over him. It takes me back. And Americans are seeing this story. Nigerians should see this story. Nigerians. It hurts that Nigerians are not seeing this story like Americans have seen this story and are exposing this story to the rest of the world. The play is fantastic. I said it made me cry. And it has to be presented to the American public, the, African, the American way. For the American to understand this. If he speaks in the way my father was speaking, probably half the people here will not even understand. So of course they must change some of the lyrics and blah blah to let the American understand or the foreigner understand what my father was talking about. So I can put myself in that perspective and be an American sitting here and understand what the play is doing. The play is exposing the corruption and what my father stood for in Nigeria and the fight and his arrest and everything. This is an excellent play, no doubt about it.
no fault whatsoever.